Cons, Jace will pick it up. I think a lot of people have been sleeping on his Jace because he's been playing Scion forever, basically. Which is one of the main reasons why that pick is still so popular despite being nerfed repeatedly. Uh, this is a nice flex pick that can comfortably go into the solo lane. We also saw Faker play it really, really well. So, uh, wh why do we put it? Um, <laughs> Who can, wants can it you, today? Can you play it? Yeah, yeah, you know, can't. Yeah, sure. I'm, uh, I'm up for that. Oh, yeah, yes, please. Um, yeah. Gwen. Does Very leave the nice. Gwen available when you do go for Nox and Rumble. A really nice combo. <laughs> in a long time, but I love it. Wow. Two melee solo laners. <laughs> and this what year is this? <laughs> wait, wait, I, I say that, but is this a Sejuani support? By the way, we, we did get an update. It means basically like super strongest, greatest genius monster legend. Yeah, that's I what mean, that that's thing pretty appropriate. That's what that thing on the uh, <laughs> on the fan sign meant. Lane. Trying to zone away. Teddy hits level two first. Yeah. All the ultimates you can steal. The ghost can grow into side lanes. Or the other T1 with their side lane pressure. Carry has hard engages so much here. Um, but generally, that doesn't necessarily mean anything as Showmaker needs to respect. It's been 302 days. And it was a loss. Nice smite here from Kaz. <laughs> Side of the Alistair, but going up against, you know, Fate's Call and uh, Dragus is not going to be easy. As we're flashing in, we're looking for the stun, and that is going to land. Canyon already uses his flash, and Faker says, get down and takes him down. That's going to be a really nice first blood pick up there. And you talked about Bob Pryle. They have the wave pushed in. Barrel has been able to rotate over here, but it is 4v3 for the meantime. Barrel takes an insane amount of damage, but he gets the two bad knockup. That is really big. They're going to take out Buzz and they're going to take down Caria. This is a disaster for T1 as Nocturne hits six and they get three kills on the back of that alongside of the blue. They're gold behind, so. It's not the end of the world as we are going to take another look here at this fight. And here you see, like, the moment that they spot them, the teleport channel comes through. And that's why it feels like the mo uh, instantly as Barrel engages, they get it. And then we talked about the spike on level 6 for Damon Kia, the Equalizer, the Nocturne. Perfect example. The moment... <laughs> You yes, that's the face of a man who just had a great teleport, throws an equalizer on top of a uh, bunch of uns. It's, it's a nice flash force. Um, okay. as, uh, they go in here. Yeah, I hope they don't the die. Damage and oh man, the TP comes in first from Dom One, but the big knock up on a canyon. Equalizer getting huge damage down, and now the final boss of Dom One is here. It is Showmaker. He is so fed. The slow is going to land on a cuz, and that's going to be enough. They don't need to land the ultimate. They just get the slow down and now Showmaker's 3-0. and zero. Karia, once again, desperate to try to carry this game. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to, though. Teddy trying to kite it out here. There's the body slam coming on in. And still the ultimate available for Barrel, as he is going to be able to cancel out that engage very easily, and no further kills will be given, although Showmaker is looking for more. Oh, and there's a teleport as well. It looks like T1 might have just gotten themselves into a really desperate situation. There's the one kill. And Showmaker, you know he's looking for more. Not going to be able to pick it up. Oh, ah, uh, yes, maybe. Looks like the charge win, but we do have a one-on-one -on -one up here in the top side. Khan is angry, and a couple of autos would do it, but Faker will survive, and he's got Kana to help him out. But here comes Showmaker. Keep in mind, he is a little bit out of the way, though, but T1 not really able to land on a con until just now. That's going to buy a little bit of time with the Blast Plant, but now Showmaker looking for a bit more. He's got the kick, but Gwen is doing some insane damage. The kick comes in, Faker gets his own kick and shuts down for 600 gold onto Showmaker. So now, I mean, it's 1,500 gold now in the lead for T1, and they're looking for more. This time, the cast. Not really going to land. It's still a three on two. Ghost takes a lot of damage. Good knock up here from Barrel, but he might just be the sacrifice. Oh, Faker! Super awesome angle there. He's not able to get the kill, but at least he does get the flash out of Ghost. In full control. Back of this game. Okay, looking for a play on a Faker here. It looks pretty easy, actually, with the Equalizer coming on in. Even Barrel was barreling down the mid lane there, looking for a potential follow up. Yeah. And. If you look at how this game is going thus far, not too surprising. Faker is walking up a little bit too far, and uh, not a lot of counterplay to that one. Yeah, and we got another fight up in the top side. This time it's out of the Gwen, 2v1, and it looks like they will get the kill, but...
Nana is able to get one of his own onto Canyon. Baker eating a bit of damage is going to give the stage over to Domo. We are going to begin picking away at this one. You see Barrel up on the top side. The paranoia is going to come in, try to deny any vision. And look at the knock up there onto the Sejuani. Kush just evaporates in this fight. A nice kick on the Canyon. They're trying to do the same. The Gwen is getting a ton of damage on the Barrel as well. And Domlin immediately jumps ship. They are out of here. They pick up the Dragon, but that is a two for one win in kills over to T1. But that's in of itself not enough. And Domlin Kia, even though oh, only Baker. gone. Baker. He's looking for it, but they know. Trying to get the play down, actually, is DK. They're trying to push them away. Sin kick, right? And Have you yeah, this is uh, Gwen making really good use of the invulnerability that the W provides. Jabata, so the early damage from the Rumble doesn't really come through until he's in the circle. And then here we see, as you said, because uh, you're not that tanky, buddy, uh, but the fact that they use everything on him makes it way harder for them to get reliable damage than a beautiful casket from Carrier. This allows Ghost to really get anything done, so Barrel's off by himself. And the sustained damage in a bad spot, right? Oh, yes. And if Gwen is left alive after all of that damage is outputted with full health, <laughs> yeah. Building Shirelli. That, that's just, just the way wanna, it goes. Just want to put that out, huh? Okay, a zoning ultimate from Khan, we'll call it. It's really easy with both Ghost's uh, Killer Instinct as well as the Nocturne ultimate to collapse, and there comes the Paranoia. Oh, but Beryl has to blow his ultimate there. Gets the ultimate out of Cuz, so a bit of a trade, one for one, you could say, but the... Cuz getting in there, big engage from Peria isn't great. Ghost is going to stay alive. The needle's not really connecting on the back side of that. And the Fates call gets Peria to safety. Yeah, D different series. Um, okay, 5v5. We got the Callista in the mid lane, but then he easily comes on down. Barrel is going to get ulted and just laughs at him. Going to lose that Tetuani ultimate for now. Showmaker's got a cask, so keep that in mind. More kiting back, more respect this time from DK. So we're looking for the perfect engage. Keep your eyes on Barrel. He still has his flash. Karia doesn't have his. Neither team has poke. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're all melee. It's like, what are you going to do? As, okay, that's getting pretty low. Barrel's just going to ultimate. Gets a huge knock up. And there is the Wombo combo. Well, where's the damage? The kick is on the ghost. And there is no follow-up from the side of Dom1. T1 are going to sweep them up and take down the Infernal Drake. A huge team fight win going the way of T1. The must-win fight was won indeed, Vel, as they pick up the Drake. Immediate flash there from Ghost. I already know what they're saying on the forums. Ban Gwen. <laughs> I mean, that's not wrong. I, I, I'm feeling pass. the energy right now. Khan is here. Alongside a Ghost, and they do have a lot of damage as uh, Ghost is getting a little bit of room, but Faker does a really nice job of zoning them away. Ghost is not really able to get on in there, but Khan is able to pick up a kill, but Faker will go down. Can they get on top of that Baron? No, it is going to go the way of the Callista. But Ghost looking to take away as many Baron buffs as possible, and here comes Big Brother Alistair, but, well, let his younger sister die. As here comes the Paranoia, but there's no vision at all. As Cannon is not going to be able to pick up the kill, but that is the Baron. There. Uh, not to say that the damage is enough, as here we see the engage from Barrel is absolutely beautiful, but this cask from Carrier means that it takes a second for Cannon and Ghost to actually get into the fight. And, and by Ghost that gets point. Kicked yeah, well. by, the, by the point, the damage is already done. Yeah. Right? So it's that inevitable delay where simultaneously a beautiful engage comes through, but there's also the disengage that that Gragas provides. And yeah, as I said before, there's a bunch of spears, but um, you don't really know how much you're going to do. You need to be really respectful of that. And in the end, they will be able to pick it up from a... Even there, you know, it's like five, 400 health, not a risk you really want to take. Yeah. Teddy and Khan, I can just uh, hold on for a little bit longer until Cuz is there. Khan gets caught, though. That's not going to help. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like he's... Yeah, he doesn't even have flash, so he's just dead. And that's for 30 <laughs> seconds he's until... Just dead. Yeah. And it's going to die pretty fast. I mean, they, they have some pretty insane damage. Lee Sin, Gwen, Callista. Barrel is looking for it. It seems like DK really want to get on in here. That's a miss on the Sejuani ultimate, but trading ultimates in the jungle. It's now trying to get on in. They're trying to burst down Carrier, but again, Fate's Call is right there. Returning to the Baron. 
In goes Baker, and uh, he's kind of all alone. Up on the top side, big knockup, and Ghost just gets way too low and taken down by the Needles and the Gragas with the Ignite. This is looking really good for the side of T1. Dom1 desperately trying to get that engage going and deny the Baron, but it will not pan out, and we should be going to a game number three as Canyon is going to be denied any access to his own base. And unless Khan can pull off a miracle here, it looks like T1 have done it. That's what we all want. Game number three, Valdez. And it turns out you are right. <laughs> no stopwatch is actually uh. most valuable item in the game. It's an execute, doesn't really count. And T1 take a decisive victory here. And we are going to a third game in this banger of a series. Yep, there you have it. T1 with just incredible tenacity to be able to pull that one out. The early game when they fell behind, it was like, oh man, this might just be a quick 2-0 from Dom1. Not the case. T1 actually just outperforming. They're able to get a couple of great team fight wins in the mid game and really pull this one back. And Dom1 Kia, I feel like really the first organization that is even coming remotely close to <laughs> getting in the general vicinity of what yeah. T1 has been able to do historically, right? And we're not there yet, and we're not going to call there until we all really collectively know that we're there. Next game of the series, because it is really incredibly close here, as most damage in the game actually goes to Faker at the end of it all. And I think Faker had an incredible game. I think his Lee Sin. Actually, I'm, I'm not even going to doubt where the Lee Sin goes every time we see it now, because I think that his consistency of making stuff happen later in the game. Oh, back there, back there. Yeah, throw on go, throw on go, throw on go, okay, okay. GG, GG, nice.